What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new AEW Unrivaled 2-in-1 review on AEW Unrivaled Series 10 Miro and my boy Wardlow. Very excited for this review as we have upgraded versions, in my opinion, of both Miro and Wardlow. I know a lot of people are very excited about upgrading their Miro figures. Our last one was a bit of a bust. Not a complete bust, but it, it wasn't what everybody wanted. It wasn't what everybody expected. I think we do have an upgrade here in the Miro figure. Wardlow, one of my favorite superstars in all of AEW getting an upgrade in the white gear. Now, to be honest, it's kind of a repaint, but it's the sick-ass white gear. If you watch this channel, if you're a fan of this channel, if you've watched me at any time at all, you probably know that I love white attires, it's super clean, and it's my all-time favorite. And to have Wardlow in that white gear right there with the purple accents, I can't wait to uncrack him, man. But here we go, Miro, Wardlow, all in their great glory here in the review. Here's the front viewing window of both. I did grab these from ringside collectibles using promo code MD Toys. So if you guys would like to save 10% over there, use that code. Select priority shipping, especially when you got a lot of money on the line. But here's Miro, front viewing window, looking pretty good. You got the beautiful Wardlow right here. Another thing is I actually have Wardlow's post notifications on. So if you guys will go to Wardlow's Instagram, if you turn on his post notifications, every single post that he makes, I put stun on these hoes with like kind of like the agony emoji, similar to the Dexter's Lab meme that goes around on Twitter. So if you guys will, every single time he posts, go like my comment on his post. So like every single post on Wardlow's Instagram feed will be me saying stun on these hoes and it'll it'll just be the top comment every single time. So sometimes I don't have service when he posts and, and you know, it doesn't work out every single time, but that would be hilarious if we could get that trend going to see if Wardlow would notice my damn toys. But you guys know the traditional AEW packaging, gold foil, Wardlow, Miro, sides of them there. Number 81 is Wardlow, number 85 is Miro. On the back you get epic images. I mean, look at this godly man. Jesus. And look at this one. Here's the rest of the figures in the wave. You guys can let me know if you think it's a bust or a W series. It's actually my birthday right there. I was born just last year. But spinning on back around to the front, man, that wraps up our packaging for Miro and Wardlow. So let's crack these guys out of the packaging and find out indeed if they are upgrades from their previous figures. So here's Wardlow and Miro out of their packaging. Really enjoying these things so far, of course, as you guys know. Big fan of both of these guys. So no no really surprise. No real surprise about how much I like these figures already. But we are going to dive into the details, break it all down. See what the articulation's like, of course, as do some comparisons. So we are going to break everything down here, man. But really enjoying these. Again, I, I really, really do. I think right off the cuff, I can tell that they're upgrades of their last figures, which is always a big plus. And their last figures, honestly, like I know the Miro got a really bad rap. But it felt really damn good in hand, you know? And that's uh, one of those things that I judge a figure heavily on, is how well it feels in hand, how it poses around, things of that nature. And I think this one it might be up there with it, you know? Is it going to be full-on comparable? We'll have to find out as we dive into it, man. But let's start off with Miro's accessories and Miro, and then we're going to take a look at my boy Wardlow and his accessories as well. So getting into Miro's accessories, you do get the kind of AEW standard, right? With the interchangeable head sculpts. They usually give us one or two interchangeable head sculpts there. We do have the champion. Championship. No interchangeable hands as I bump the camera like a dumb idiot moron. Starting out first with our first head sculpt. This is the superior of the two head sculpts in my opinion. It's kind of like that grimacing pissed off Rusev face. I like it. I, I think this works out. It's much better than his last figure. I don't even know where that head sculpt went because I trashed it. I got rid of it. I don't know where it is. I'll, I'll try my best to find it for today's review, but this head sculpt looks best in my opinion. And then this one right here was slept on, I think. I think a lot of people kind of wrote this off because it didn't look that great in image. But it looks much better here, in my opinion. The likeness to Miro is there. He doesn't look nearly as high as he did in the promo images, but this looks pretty good. He's looking off to the left slightly. He's got a little smirk going. I think this one's definitely the more superior, but they're not bad head sculpts at all. Especially this one, but I don't think this one's, like, horrific, you know? I think this is better than his first one, if that makes any, you know, prize or any example there. But there's your interchangeable head sculpts, and then you get the black TNT Championship, which we have seen quite a few times now. You know, we've seen it throughout. Probably not the last time we're going to see it either. They, they pump these championships championships out pretty regularly. Still a little bit oversized, maybe, in my opinion. I guess we can see about that, but there's the TNT championship. Looking good. Black strap. I need to see the gold version, I think, is what I want to see next. And I hate that it didn't come with the version that he, that, you know, his custom version that he had. That's, I mean, that would have been ideal with this figure, but I guess they couldn't do that, but we will, this is not the last time we'll see the TNT title. Absolutely not. We're going to see many, many iterations of this, and I'm glad that we have another championship here in the line. Alright, guys, so getting into Miro, starting at the top of the head sculpt. Again, this is my favorite. 
but I think this one looks best in my personal opinion. You guys can let me know down below though. I don't think the smirking one is that bad though. I really don't. I think that it got a bad rep online and it did look pretty bad online, but that seems to be the case with AEW figures. They look worse online than they do in person. Going down to the torso, you got the same torso. I have this like little mark right here. I don't really know what that is. It's like a little divot or something like that, but no chest hair again really bothers me. We need chest hair. There's literally chest hair all over the back of the packaging. This guy needs chest hair. He needs stomach hair. Not a lot of it, or maybe a lot of it. This looks great, though. This is the Elite 65 Rusev, which is a great figure. It needs this. It needs chest hair, man. It needs chest and stomach hair. I think it would really send the figure over the top. Going down to the trunks, you do have the same trunks mold, I think, as his last figure. It may be new. We'll get into the comparisons in a moment, but you do have the TNT Champion style shorts that I like a lot. I'm glad they went with this gear. You got your gold and stuff going all the way around. Nice black details, waistband, all that different stuff going on. I do have some paint chip right here. Like, you guys can see how, like, splotchy it got right there. And a little nick right there under the TNT logo, but going down, nice little knees look good. Kick pads look really, really good. I like this a lot. You got Miro and that weird font going on in the gold over the red kick pad. Nice kick pad articulation here. Black details on the shoes. I like it, man. Pretty solid Miro figure. Definitely a hell of a lot better than his first go around. Only thing missing is his TNT championship, but as far as articulation goes, he can look down pretty good. He can look up really good as well. It will come across, though, but his, his arms, it's so crazy how some AEW figures, man, this right here is like super impossible and it gets stiff and it goes and then some of them just feel very beautiful like this right here i don't think that's ever going to get loose because it's real light but then you have your cm punks your Stu graysons of the world where it goes and then it gets really loose and it's garbage. Same thing goes for the bicep swivel. Bicep swivel feels really good. The double joints feel really, really good. Like, God, I wish all AEW figures felt like this, but he can bend over pretty good there. The feel in hand is fantastic. Again, you get your upper thigh cut up here. You get your ball joints. No thigh rotation at the undercut right there, but you do have, oh God. You got your double jointed knee that's really nice. Very nice kick pad rotation. This figure just poses around really well. I'd love to see some, some banger pick fed matches with a, a Miro figure such as this. But I like this figure a lot. I really, really do. If I find this at retail, I'm definitely going to have to grab a couple. I'd like to get it in acetone off the TNT logo just to have like a freelance, like regular Red Gear Miro or something. But this is fantastic. Let's get into Miro figure comparisons. So for your Miro figure comparisons, here is his first go around in the AEW Unmatched Series 1 figure. This one is a hell of a lot better. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the figure here. It is redesigned. It's slightly different and it's a lot better. Looks a lot cleaner. A lot better build to the guy. I think you could even add a little bit. Yeah, maybe it might could even be improved a little more. I think I'm going to need heat to take this off. But another comparison you can do is the Elite 65 Rusev, which I think this this still might be the best Rusev they've made. This head sculpt goes on here. I did repaint the eyes because they were all messed up. But I did find the first go around of Miro's head sculpt, which was just insane. Look at this guy. But I wanted to put this on here just to see what it looks like. You guys wanted to see what that looks like. I guess that's not like horrific. It fits well, you know, like I don't think you're going to not be able to get away with it i just don't like this head sculpt so i mean that there's that so there is that head sculpt but this is easily the best miro man it's easily the best miro it's not even close i mean I, I i think that this this new miro is head and shoulders above the other one not only in actual height but also in terms of superiority this miro is much much better and this may be the best rusev figure ever i don't know you guys could be the judge but i definitely like this one a lot more than this one i like the camo pants i just think that this figure is superior in all of the ways. Alright guys, so getting into Wardlow's accessories, you do get the interchangeable hands and the interchangeable head skulls. I'm pretty sure his Series 2 figure from the Unmatched line did come with these exact accessories if I'm not mistaken, like to the T. Except they are painted a bit differently. Here's a straight face Wardlow. I don't think I like it as much as the last one. Usually I'm all about the fades and stuff like that, but here is this one, and then here is his Unmatched Series 2. I don't know if I like it as much. It's kind of like the same head sculpt, just repainted in a different way. I don't know if I like it. I don't know. Like, he has the fade, which I like. I, I wish I could put this hair over here. Maybe the eyes are misprinted just a little bit or something like that, but I think this has more likeness to him. I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but I think this head sculpt is better, but uh, it's not terrible. It's just, yeah, I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Then you have the interchangeable head sculpt. I do have like a scuff under the eye. I'm gonna have to get that off with like a Q-tip or something like that, but there's the interchangeable head. A lot better in my opinion than the straight face one. And then comparing the Unmatched Series 2 to this one right here, they're virtually the same. I think my eyes may be misprinted on my 
other head because these look pretty much the same except this one has the the fade on there but i like them both you know the hair colors are a tad different you know but they're for the most part they are the same there but i'm all just team fade man the fade just looks so clean to me i don't know just just get it out of my face outside of that you do have your interchangeable hands on the right hand is hand tape and on the left hand is not but you do have sculpted on wrist tape or hand tape in the white which looks good and then you have the interchangeable fisted hands that have the same thing you got the tape on there and then you have the bare hands over there which i'm just glad that, that it, it was consistent you know that, that's consistency in the lines what we like to see and that, that's new to them apparently so getting into wardlow starting out with the head sculpt which we already took a look at in the accessories portion i think what it is is like the mustache like him not having a mustache or a prominent mustache it stands out because on the back of the packaging from this matchup from blood and guts he had a mustache so maybe that's where the kind of weird stuff's going on with this head sculpt i'm not entirely sure nonetheless still a handsome fella still stunting on these hoes looking like a looking like a beast but going down to the torso same torso we've seen before it is repainted in the white and purple camo you got the gorilla down here which looks really cool really sick man i think it's awesome he has a great physique he, he looks fantastic wardlow is an absolute boss he's got the white wrist tape white hand tape over there again nothing nothing over there on the back really like the font they choose for this on his gear he's got wardlow going down the center one thing that bothers me about both of these figures is that the pattern does not continue there and the same thing happened on rusev i don't, I don't know if we even looked at the back of the figure but look at this right here like dude that's unacceptable man come on now at least like it's got to continue so there there's that and then there's his tattoo there i don't know how we didn't cover that but yeah his tattoos there getting back into wardlow though i i just love this figure man it's just so beautiful he's also got the calf tape down here which is a detail that they didn't have to include but they did which is kind of cool you got the white knee pads and it does say pinnacle on there for of course the faction at the time but by the time these figures hit retail pinnacle is going to be long gone you know like wardlow's all like wardlow's all by himself but this is still a sweet figure i love the white boots they look really clean you got the pinnacle logo again but damn what a nice figure i i am enjoying the hell out of this as a big wardlow guy as a white gear guy as a uh, fan this is awesome now standing the figure back articulation is very very good he can look down really well again the articulation and feel of this figure is just so nice compared to other unrivaled lines i don't know how in certain lines it's terrible and then certain ones it's not but he has a really good split because of ball joints upper thigh cut you get the double jointed knee get the boot rotation ankle rocker and his ab crunch is not the best just because he's a bigger guy but it's not terrible and you guys know that he does have nice diaphragm movement here another guy i'd like to see five star bangers with him pick feds like can somebody do a sick ass wardlow match cough cough me but yeah there there's wardlow in all his glory so for your wardlow figure comparisons guys here is the two that we've seen so far you have the regular unmatched series 2 and then the unrivaled series 10 very similar just repainted different gears very similar accessories head sculpts things of that nature you could interchange the head sculpts and stuff but can't really plop on i mean you can interchange the torsos it wouldn't be like what would be the point but you know, you know it is there i definitely like the unrivaled 10 better just because i like the gear better but we're gonna get more ward lows i can't wait for more ward lows i can't wait till one day he goes to wwe becomes wwe champion and we get a ultimate edition ward low or a really badass elite ward low i imagine that will happen one day so i don't know if it'll be called ward low i imagine it'd be called something else but i still am a huge ward low guy and hope for the best for the man he's a he's an absolute unit and for another display option here is mjf and his pinnacle gear in the white and purple and gold and these guys look really good up next to each other of course doesn't mean much now but yeah that makes sense right there look at that right there that's just that's that's good stuff they look really good up next to each other i think you put these on the shelf you know uh, way outdated but by the time these hit retail they'll probably hit retail around the same time i'd imagine so that'll be really cool to see the unmatched series mjf and the unrivaled series 10 wardlow but i think that pretty much is going to wrap up this unrivaled series 10 wardlow and miro review man had a lot of fun with the review had a lot of fun with both figures i enjoy these a lot i am kind of worried that maybe i don't think the miro will shelf one because it's a, it's a definite upgrade from his first figure and his first figure sold pretty well as far as i'm concerned i think just the overproduction of series one of unmatched figures is kind of why he was shelf warming so badly but i think this wardlow is going to be pretty sought after as well like i i, I don't know I, it's kind of hard to judge for me but i enjoy both of these figures a lot they are for the most point wardlow for the most part is just a repaint but i love wardlow so i have zero issues with it and beings that you know you guys know how i feel about white gears and stuff like that i mean of course i'm gonna lose my mind about this it looks insane it looks beautiful it's so clean and it, it stands out on a shelf and i'm gonna pick this up uh, i might be a wardlow go crazy on it you know uh, who knows what i'm gonna do with that but i enjoy both these figures if you guys would like to grab these go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys and save yourselves 10 percent had a ton of fun with them i think you should grab both of them to be honest with you because uh i love wardlow and miro so much i mean i i really do and i think i think this miro is a must
must have, especially if you did not grab his first one. This is the Miro to buy. I like both head sculpts. I like what we got going on. You get another TNT championship. Not a lot of cons with both of these figures, and that's what you can always ask for, man. But before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout out. And this shout out's going to go to KL Sounds, who says, honestly, this is the first time I could say 98% of these figures are really good. And I guess he was talking about San Diego Comic Con because that did come from our Comic Con video, like breaking down, you know, and talking about the reveals and stuff like that. So huge shout out to KL Sounds for the comment. I agree, man. I think that the reveals this year were incredible. They were just outstanding. Just outstanding stuff. Stuff that, you, you know, you, you weren't really expecting and it just blew us away. But a huge shout out to KL Sounds for that comment, man. Really, really appreciate it. If you guys would like a random shout out in a future video, leave me one down below. Leave a like on the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day and stun on these hoes. You cross the line.